Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, our guests. Good morning, our audience. Good morning from wherever you are. And we're so excited to welcome to another edition of the CIG Nightline. I'm, I'm going to ask Usher in our regular anchor in the person of Satan, who is going to um, welcome everybody else. Thank you. Good morning, boss. Good morning, boss. Gloria. I'm simply a Satan. Good to have everybody on this platform this evening. Uh, we have the first edition for the month of August, and it is uh, with the theme of it is worth it. So why do we know or why do we seek what it's worth all about? So let's meet uh, Blessing Asiat. Mr. Blessing Asiat is the chief brand officer at Golden Street Empire, a sociologist, an entrepreneur by training and by practice, a serial entrepreneur with demonstrated history of over 16 years experience a God lover, a loving wife, and a model. A brand promoter, an affiliate marketer for multinational companies like the Lida Cosmetic, General Fresh, Mark Joseph, and so on, with B2B, B2C transactions. A brand ambassador and diamond pipe leader with Long Reach Bioscience International, also runs the business as a stockist. He's a business developer, with women as also women empowerment advocates. A passionate marketer and CEO team lead of Golden Street Entrepreneurs, who is passionate about making a difference and changing the narrative. Uh, she's been into the scene for quite a while. She's planned from a far left with SD Yvonne Abbey at a D5 Meda presentation. She's in the middle with uh, Madam Titi, the Africa's number one, and flanked alongside as Assistant Commissioner of Police, Choma Ajuan, the first Nigerian athlete to win the golden, a gold medal in the 1996 Olympics in Atlanta, Georgia, during the 10th anniversary for the Advocating for Women Empowerment Foundation in 2017. And at the bottom left with our children. The first picture there is at the stock is opening and she's on the right there, and she also runs the radio and TV program. Uh, join me as I will make a welcome to Mrs. Blessing Asiak. Good Hi. morning, boss. <laughs> Good morning, Good, everyone. Good morning. Such Good morning. Yeah, thank you so much, Mrs. Seton. Wow. <laughs> so much, so much, so much, so much here to be thankful for. Such a delight to be here. I want to appreciate my three ASD for the opportunity to be on this call. You know, when he reached out to me, I was like, oh, no, why me? But uh, I gave it a second thought, and here we are. I'm, I'm so glad I, I was able to take it, and um, here we are. So I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Hopefully, it's going to be an exciting time, you know, with the family. CIG is another yes. family. <laughs> yes, and we know it's going to be, we know it's going to be. So we just in 10 minutes, just take over the floor with our topic. Thank you. I've always known that there is more to life. And um, I was presented with the opportunity to take on a journey on this multi-level marketing platform. And um, I decided to take it on because um, I've wanted more. And... Um, because I wanted more, I knew that um, I couldn't do that all by myself. And I haven't have a, a knowledge of what it is to be on um, a multi-level marketing, you know, haven't had experience, you know, um, beforehand. I decided to take on the challenge to be here um, on this platform in order to expand my capacity, in order to do more with my life. Okay, on the topic, it is worth it. Yes, I can say in affirmation that it is worth it. It's really worth it. I can say it a hundred times over that it's worth it. It's worth it because for me, I know what I want out of life. I have, you know, a vision for my life. I know what I want to make out of my life. And so when I sat down, I thought about it. I said to myself, how do I go about this? 
And that was when I embraced the journey to be on multi-level marketing. I, I know a bit about marketing and um, marketing has been part of my life from my inception, you know, in my entrepreneurial journey. And um, I so much appreciate it because I know that in every, um, in every economic system, you know, of every, in, 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 in every society, you know, the economic system has um, what we call three elements. And these three elements are production, we have um, marketing, we have um, consumption. And I said to myself, if there are three elements in every, in, in every given e economy, you know, why would I be losing out? Why, if I cannot, I know that I might not be able to be, be playing as, um, you know, in, in the production part of the economy. We all know how it is in this part of the world. It takes so much, you know, from you to be able to play, you know, in, in um, that role or, not, or to, to take on such responsibility. So I said to myself, I cannot be losing out, of course, I know that people that are gaining in any economic system are either the people that are in the production or people that are marketing. So I looked at it. What do I do? I can't feature, you know, in production. Why don't I feature in marketing? So I, I embrace marketing. And then when I had the opportunity of this platform, which, you know, for me is another type of marketing, there are so many types of marketing, which um, so many of us may not know, you know, and word of mouth, which is MLM, is one of it. We have um, green marketing, we have internet marketing, we have affiliate marketing, we have um, email marketing, we have inbound marketing, we have proximity marketing, so many on the list. And um, I, Having you know, known that marketing is another thing that will allow you to take advantage of the economic system. You know, we have always been told about leveraging. I looked at it, how do I, um, how do I take advantage of the economic system? I thought of, you know, multi-level marketing because I mean, over here, we have um, something that already has been manufactured. We have been already been manufactured for I, again, if you are looking at marketing, understand that in production, there's either a tangible product or intangible product. So in either ways, at least, whether you are marketing um, um, a, a tangible product or you're marketing um, a service, which is um, intangible product, but you have to be somewhere where you are not only consuming. So I decided I wasn't going to be a consumer only. I was going to also take advantage of the system. Hence, my, my, the need to embrace a platform that will allow me to do that maximally. And again, I can say that is what because on my journey, on, on, on my journey in the, on this platform, and again on multi-level marketing, I've also been able to um, express my skills. There's so much that I have learned on this journey that um, probably would not have done on my own. Is it um, the people skills? Is it relationship marketing, which a lot of us may have been doing without even knowing? You know, um, is it other parts of marketing that have been downplayed that people do not really also know about, which I've also been able to express on this platform? So it has helped me to further enhance my skills. It has helped me to also um, be able to, you know, build um, a system for myself, you know, with a future in view. It is what because I have a vision for my life and that vision, you know, it, it involves me retiring, you know, to comfort retiring to, 
you know, security, retiring to a life of fun. And I said to myself, I cannot do this on my own. Um, remember, if you have read um, 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 this book by Rich Dad, Poor Dad, um, that talks about the four quadrants. You are either in the first, second, third, or fourth quadrant. And the first quadrant has to do with being employee. And the second one has to do with um, being self-employed. And I understand that for you to, to be able to live life maximally, which is one of my vision, you cannot do that. You cannot achieve that on the first quadrant. You cannot achieve that on the second quadrant either, because I mean, uh, uh, why, why would I take on, um, uh, um, why would I go on a trip alone with, uh, when I know that having to travel this land with some other people, it makes life a lot easier and faster. Again, another reason why I say that is what because is because I understand that you have to, you know, if you are going on a journey, you have to decide how you are going to get there because your means of transportation will decide whether you are gonna be quick you know, in getting at your um, destination or whether you are gonna you know, be slow on it or whether you are even gonna arrive there. You know that if you are to go to, let's say you are traveling from Lagos to Abuja, um, you decide to take on a KK, there's every likelihood you might not even get there you know, because <laughs> the, the capacity of uh, such, um, um, a, a transport, a means of transportation may not have been built for such a long trip. You may decide, okay, why not use a car? A car will take you there, but you know, this, the, 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 the timing also matters. So the timing is what I considered. And I decided to take on this platform. I decided to come on board this platform. The timing, the speed, what another I was looking at. Again, so if you are to travel to Abuja and you decide to go on, on the flight, you, you are sure that you're gonna get there before someone that embarks on the same journey with a, with a car. So I decided to come on board to be able to get on my trip faster. And again, to be sure that I'm gonna get there. Because the truth is, if the, the reality of our economy is that if you are gonna you know, live a good life, uh, you, know, you are looking forward to living a good life when you have retired, chances are that you might not even smell it. If you're an employee, we all know that in the in employment system, that your, your boss gives to you what he feels you deserve. And again, I mean, you, he can decide to you know, get rid of you whenever he feels like. And again, if you are on also um, self-employed, we know the factors, especially in this our system, that militates against most businesses that you might not even break even, you know. So I, I considered all of these factors and I decided that this is what my attention, if I'm going to achieve this dream of mine, this is what, you know, everything that I can put on this journey. And so far it has been, it has been a very wonderful one. It has been a very interesting one. It has been so rewarding. It has helped me so much. It has, it has give, give also, it has helped me to have a clearer view of my landing in my later days of life. Again, looking at the health aspect, because um, the truth is you cannot be talking about wealth and um, you ignore your health. Like they say, health is wealth. So I look at all that is being offered on my platform and good health is part of, is part of the package because you get to, you know, you're exposed to a whole lot of healthy lifestyle that will further enhance your life, that will help you to live your life productively. I decided to take it on wholeheartedly because I knew that with, with this platform, my health is gonna be intact while I walk towards my dream, while I also plan towards my retirement. I won't have to worry about anything, you know, at the evening of my life because 
the platform affords me the opportunity to take care of my health. Again, I can say that it's worth it because of the legacy I intend to leave for the younger generation. I'm, I'm very sure one of them is on this call. Ever since I got on board this platform and she got to know about it, she has never for one day left, you know, um, allow herself to be left behind. She has already started building, you know, uh, she, she, she's given herself, you know, a, a, a target. She has also gone ahead to build a team on this platform. Having, you know, um, heard from me, what it's all about and what it offers. So I, 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 at first I was like, okay, I'm gonna leave a legacy, but this is someone that has tagged along in the journey. So it means that it's not even gonna be them, the, the generations to come, because if she's on this journey with me, and I'm, I'm, I'm at least the, the, the elders, it means that the generations after her will also benefit from it. So it's really, really worth it. Because I mean, you cannot, um, you cannot give your job to your children. You, ca you cannot bequeath your job to your children. You cannot, not even your business, because for all you know, you may not be able to build that business to a point where you are able to leave it to the next generation. Chances are that you would have, a lot of things would have fallen out of place before they even, you know, they grow up to meet it. So it's, I, I can say over and over again, that is really what, because I have, you know, the future in mind. Like we have always said, better life, better future. I have the future in mind with my children inclusive. The generations to come have to have a soft landing. I may have gone through a whole lot of challenges trying to stand in life. I wouldn't want them to have to go through you know, difficulties, at least they should have something to hold on to, you know. So it's really, really worth it. If you are considering, you know, a, 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 a journey that is gonna, you know, land you safe and sound, you might want to look at how you are gonna get there. Like I've always said, if you know your why, then you, be, you should be able to, you know, if you can establish your why, then you will be able to um, find out your how. If you know why you are, you know, you, you, why you are existing, then you will know how you are gonna go about existing and existing productively. So I was able to establish my why, and then I have been able to discover how I'm gonna, you know, go about my why. Okay, so it is what, because I have a why, I have a vision in place, and I intend to go all out for that vision by leveraging on the platform that I have discovered because the platform has helped me to become more. Okay, if I'm talking about, I've also been looking at empowering people. When I look at myself, how much can I make on my own that I'll be able to you know, impact life? Because the, the truth is people will never remember you for, for the things that you have acquired for yourself, but for the legacy you have left behind, for the life that you have been able to touch. So I, I looked at it, how would I be able to impact the people around me? Because the truth is, if you cannot impact people around you, if your life cannot affect them to the point that you're able to change their narrative for good, the truth is that they will always drag you down. They will always pull you down. Because I mean, while you are trying to get up, you know, you are, you are trying to also see how you can help. And you cannot help that if you, yourself, you cannot help them if you yourself, you are not standing. You cannot pull somebody out of a pit if you have not secured, you know, a place for yourself. If you have if not stood secured, you cannot pull someone out of a pit. So I looked at it. If I'm going to be affecting lives, if I'm going to leave a legacy, if I'm going to change people's story, how do I go about it? And this is where this platform answers those questions. We're talking about, on, again, on this platform, I have been able to help people, help build people in direction of their dream by way of training. Like I said before, on this platform, people may not really know that they are practicing a whole lot that uh, you know that people ordinary would have gone to maybe Harvard 
or to run some master's program in order to be able to, you know, to be able to, you know, understand this. But like I said, we are here for um, a type of marketing, but unknown to us, we are doing relationship marketing, which is one of um, a type, one type of marketing I have always emphasized on. I've always said that for your marketing to be effective, you have to go about it by relationship marketing. Because I've always believed that you don't go all out, you don't go selling to people, just go sell stuff. No, you want to build a relationship because you are, you are looking at sustainability. You are looking at a long term. So we, we have been able to practice that on this platform, which is you know, a type of marketing that some of us were not even realized. Relationship marketing. Proximity marketing is another thing that we have um, I've also been able to practice here. Okay, talk about stockings opening. You know, um, when I got to know about the aspect of this platform that has to do with stockies, you know, business, I said, I mean, stockies business, you are positioned close to people in your locality to be able to service them. And I looked at, I said, this is proximity marketing where I stay close to the people who really, really need this stuff. We don't have, without having to go far, you are able to cover you, the people around you. You know, then we have also done um, what, what we call um, a personalized marketing without even knowing. I see a lot of creativity that our people put out there, you know, um, by way of dancing, you know, trying to do brand promotion and all of that. These are things that people go to learn. You know, they do they do um, a charter program for if you are doing a maybe a charter program on marketing, but these are things that we are even practicing that we don't even know. You know, you talk about I mean social media marketing, we are doing that already. Talk about internet marketing, we are doing that already. Email marketing, we are doing that. Cross media marketing, we are doing that. You know, a whole lot that we are practicing. While people are thinking, you know, it's not my thing. They don't know that. I mean, like I said earlier, for you to, you know, for you to benefit fully from any economic system, it's either you are, you know, in the production line or you're in the marketing line. So marketing line has given us the advantage, you know, some kind of advantage. You are not only consuming, but somehow you've been able to, you know, consume and then also have money in your pocket. Like we know on this platform, we talk about switching of brand. And look at us, we switch brands, you know, we switch a brand and then we are also being able to be empowered in terms of our, our pockets. You know, our, we, we, we have something to, to go back with even after we are, like we normally say, go mine in your home. You only switch your brand and you have been able to, you know, form a, a, a great lifestyle. You've been able to, you know, look forward to a better future just because you decided to feature in an aspect of, you know, uh, the, the economic system that, you know, allows you to leverage on an existing, you know, uh, an existing system. Like I said, you cannot be on production. Then why not take up marketing? And again, marketing is a lifeline of any business. So for any business to even exist, there has to be, you know, marketing. There, because, I mean, if you're in a production line, you will be looking for how to get your product across to the end users. And this, this is when marketers come in. So for you to even be on this platform, it gives you an advantage because you're learning a whole lot of skills alongside. So I can say, you know, of the two that is really, really, you know, what every energy, every passion, because I can be so passionate about it. So much that uh, I remember when um, I, I attended a friend's birthday party and, um, you know, we were all there relaxing and somebody was just looking at me. The next thing I heard was, ah, I've been so surprised if Blessing doesn't mention a platform on this table. I said, and we all busted into laughter. He said, somebody said, yes, I was also waiting for that too. And these happens to be bankers, you know? And um, at the end of the day, she turned around and said, but you know what? I like your passion. I really like your passion because I've always said, you have to love what you do for you to even enjoy it, you know? And, and for people to even 
appreciate what you are doing. You have to, they have to see it in you. You have to leave it out, you know? So uh, it's, it's, it, there's a whole lot that I have, I can say that it's really, really worth it because um, I have discovered a lot of things that I didn't even know about myself. Again, I've also gained um, a family, you know, I've gained a family, you know, outside my immediate family and extended family, I have CIG, you know, and, and that has also allowed me to leverage, you know, in so many ways in order to achieve my dream. I can go on and on and on and on, you know, because it's, um, everybody has to know that there exists, you know, a route that you can actually, you know, take and it makes, you can, and you can see your future. You can, you can, yes, because I mean, if you are working a nine to five, you don't know when they will ask you to go. If you are, you know, running a business, you don't know what policy will come up and you are, you are, you know, I mean, you're out of business. So uh, for me, that you have, a, that, that there, there exists a platform that, you know, allows you to see your future and a good one at that. It's worth my attention. It's worth my energy. It's worth the passion. You know, Mr. Seton mentioned something about, um, it, it, while it, my, it, it was introducing me, he talked about women empowerment. I have been trying to educate women about, you know, I, I've always uh, I, I, an advocate of the fact that women has to be informed in order to take the, the, the right decisions, you know, take decisions, you know, from an informed standpoint, that you have to be informed about your health, you have to be informed about life, that there's more to life than just being a housewife, even if you choose not to, you know, work, that you can do something with your life, even right from your home, right from the comfort of your home. So there's a whole lot. This platform has given me uh, so much opportunity to be able to reach out to people, to be able to, you know, help people, you know, uh, shape their vision. Uh, we we'll want to continue with the interview session now. And uh, it's actually quite amazing that I hope that some of these things we're, not, we're going to ask you, you have not actually said them already. Now, okay. in what year did you actually join network marketing? Now, if Longridge wasn't into your first, you may not mention the first one you joined and tell us some of the experiences you had with them then and uh, why you decided to join Longridge. I, I joined network marketing around 2014 and Longridge is not my first platform. I've done like three other platforms because I've always loved a multi-level marketing. So I've done three other platforms and I, when I got to know about long reach, I just said it's, it's a whole lot of difference. You talk about the, the, the a good number of products that you can choose from. Again, too, I noticed that in other platforms, okay, one of the platforms that I, I, was, I was with, they had just one product. I mean, you, you, there's nothing to choose from. Is it that you are doing that, you are picking that or you are not? I mean, not everybody will want to do that. You know, no, not everybody wants to go with such products, you know. And again, I also noticed that you make effort to achieve a particular incentive. And before you know it, everything you have ever done, you know, they have, they, they erase it. You know, you start all over again. But that's not the case here. You know, over here, you, whatever it is you have done, it counts for you to be able to, it, 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 yeah, to be able, you can build on it to be able to achieve more. It's, it's a whole lot of difference from what I experienced. But again, another thing here is the team support. You get to know, here on Longridge, you get to know your, your team members and you have the support of your team members, you know, until you're able to, you know, to, 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 to have a good knowledge of the business. But over there, you were left on your own. You, I mean, nobody trains you. You don't get to know anything. You just, um, if, you are, if you are lucky to buy um, a, a pamphlet, you just figure it out all by yourself, you know. Here is totally, totally different. Again, another thing that endears me to this platform is, a, is, is their history. You know, their profile. Is their profile. 
um, I, I joined Long Beach um, um, 2015. Yes. Have I, answered, have I answered that question? I joined 2015. Is that part of the question? I joined 2015. Yes, yeah, yeah, the year you actually joined Long Beach as well. Yes. 2015, but I wasn't so serious about it, you know. I, I was just trying to observe, to see how this is going, to know whether it's like the ones I left or not, uh, until I attended one of the one of our events, one of our big, one of our big events. And I was like, people are going up there to achieve something. And I'm here, you know, I have the opportunity to, you know, to grab one of those things and I'm just sitting there watching. So and that was when my iPhone and I now decided to do the business the way it ought to be done. Wow. That is <laughs> awesome, um, boss, uh, blessing. So, it's it's so amazing. Um, you joined Long Beach 2015. Of course, you're a veteran. So, I mean, that accounts for all your wealth of information, you know. And I mean, this is beyond a master class because I have like I'm looking at all of these marketing classes. It's I've 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 I've, I've heard about relationship marketing, you know, social media marketing, and and all of this stuff and. Yeah. We can tell from your wealth of information that you have truly, truly, you know, gained a lot of information, knowledge, and experience from this platform. So along the line of building your business, what challenges have you um, expo I mean, experienced, obviously, that you can share with us? Uh, first of all, I, I'd like to say that the mistake I made that I've also um, landed me, although challenges are also good, was not getting people, you know, of the same values on board with me. Mm -hmm. I learned it the hard way because the truth is, if you don't have people going on the same direction with you, chances are that they will distract you and they will slow down your journey, which was a mistake I made from the onset. You know, we're just speaking people at random, not minding where they are going, whether they are going my direction, you know. But along the line, I had a paradigm shift. I saw that um, it, it, that's, it, it ought not to be. You know, it has to be people that share the same values with you. Because the truth is, your values determines your, the, the decision you make. You know, whether you're going to make a good decision, whether you're going to make you know, a wrong decision, it all boils down to your values. So, and then the challenges came. When the challenges came, I looked at myself, I said, okay, what do I do? Um, there's something I put up on my Instagram page for people that are following me. I said something about challenge. I think I wrote it down. So I said, challenges makes you strong by exercising your creative, mental and emotional muscles. For those of us that goes to the gym. Now, the challenges makes you exercise your mental and emotional uh, muscles. You know, exercises your, you know, your mental capacity. It gives you a kind of a reset. You want to have an inward look at yourself, you know, whether you are really fit for the tax, you know, you know, that you have taken on, you know, and again, your emotional muscles. Also, I wrote that challenges tones your intuition and imagination exercises your desires and puts you know mass on your positive beliefs you know if challenge challenges comes to weigh what you believe challenges comes to put you know your vision to test it comes to put your desires to test whether indeed you you really desired you know where you are going to and so you know i also wrote that it trims your fears <laughs> and adds definition and articulation to your attitude. So uh, how you handle challenges goes a long way to really, really, you know, um, um, it, it, it defines you. And again, it makes you really know where, it, it makes you discover yourself. Again, it tests your capacity. So yeah. when that happened to me, I sat back, I looked at myself, okay, uh, this has happened. Okay, so what do I do? I had to shake it off and um, decided to go back to the drawing board and decided to, uh, and also make things right. Look at people that are going 
the journey with me so that I can lock hands with them so that the journey will be faster. Mm-hmm. You know, because I believe that there is there is there is strength in unity, there is stability in, 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 in unity. You know, when you have people that aligns with your vision, there's stability. I mean, you won't be you thrown off balance there won't be um, distractions. So I had to go fetch people that, you know, aligns with my vision, people of like mind, people of, uh, of same value. So, I mean, we may want to do that for those of us that are just coming on board. You may want to learn from my own mistakes. Wow. You know, if you want to, yes, because again, unity allows speed. If you have, if, if, you, if you have a unified house, you know, you know that your journey will not be slow. It will be faster. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, I don't know, but I just got something from you, which I know our audience is going to like. But I'll ask you one more question real quick. Okay. So, through these challenges, instead of your okay. challenges, you know, paralyzing you or making you feel super overwhelmed and you don't know what to do, but instead, it's like it motivates you. It motivates you yes. to to do more because it then exercises your you know your brain our brain you know the muscles of the brain and 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 all of that which is something good for all of us so, so instead of us seeing as challenges or something that would stop us but instead it should propel us it should make us go even further can, can you That's share with us real quick how you were able to um motivate or encourage your you know your team members you know your your downlines as far okay, as I, challenges too. Okay, I was able to tell them to to hold on. If indeed you really need this, because if you need something badly, you will you know do you go all out for it, irrespective of the challenges that comes your way. So I've always encouraged them, you know, just like you know, currently the the they've been a, you know a downturn you know in, in in the economy. A lot of people are also getting discouraged even before now. So I've always, if really need this thing, I mean, it's, it's a general experience. It's a general experience because um, I, I won't fail to put this up because currently we are still going through challenges because of the inflation and all of that. So a lot of people are tempted to quit. I always tell them, you know, before you decide to quit, you know, you have to decide why you even started the journey. So I've always encouraged them to look back on why they even started the joining. What were the things that got you on board? What was the reason? Because our why is one thing that drives us, that makes you want to get up and get going. So I, I kind of talked to them. I always, I said, you have to be consistent. Because again, if you're not consistent, you know, look at our business. It's not about building people and attracting people to yourself to get on board to do the business. If you are not consistent, if you are saying something to tomorrow and you look back, people will not want to identify whatever it is you're doing. Exactly. Thank you very, very much. So, um, of course, you, you, you use the word that I like very much. This business is, it's almost like it gives you like a paradigm shift, you know? You know that certain people, if they're not going along with you and you encourage them, I mean, and you let them think of their why, if that's not Mm. enough to make them stay, then there is nothing you can do about that. But but the fact that if their why is big enough, it's gonna make them stay. Thank you very, very much. So I think that was so important for for us to know because from your experience, we see that you have, um, you know, that you're a go-getter and you don't let any any anything stop you so that's why i needed you you to share that with us thank you thank you did you want to ask about the product yet yeah thank you so much Uh, you you said something in the in the course of your presentation that don't just be a consumer of the products that you can actually make money out of it and all that now you talk about this product so much uh, we know language has um, several products that are fantastic and that are potent organic products. So which ones that you have used and that you, you actually have testimonies about them, uh, for every individual or for every partner with language, it actually 
difficult to select a particular major product or as your best. But we want you to just stream to like five. Tell us five of those products that have actually you benefited from. And if you have testimonies from them, let us know. Okay. Um, I'd like to start with the sanitary napkin. I, I, if I, whenever I do my presentation, is I am always so passionate about, you know, sharing my experience with, uh, you know, um, about my, the sanitary napkin. I've always had um, irregular periods, and um, also um, um, uh, yeah, painful menstruation. And then when I started using this, I discovered that it's all gone. It's no longer there. You know, at a point, I, um, um, someone called my attention and said, it's like you have fibroids. The way you, because I remember one of those days, I, I, I had to come out, it was on a Sunday, I had to go out of the church and I was squeezing myself. I was trying to see how I can manage the pain. You know, it, it used to be so bad. But when I started using this, I didn't experience that anymore. And then the, the panty liner, my, my first daughter had an experience um, while she was in secondary school. Um, it turned out that one of those days she, she discovered that, uh, that she was having um, incontinency. So um, we decided to take her to the hospital. When we took her to the hospital, they, they said she has um, oh, um, staff. And I was like, staff? They said, yes, it's from toilet. And I said, oh my God. So they, they, they prescribed antibiotics for her. And me, knowing that my, my panty liner would take care of that, I accepted the, the, the antibiotics rather. And on getting home, I just quietly activated it and gave to her. And she used it and it was all gone. You know, I didn't have to expose her to anything antibiotics. And the toothpaste, that's product number three, the toothpaste. I have always, I'm sure so many people have testimonies on the toothpaste. For me, there's one of my tooth that I was told that did not form well and used to give me problems. Especially if I have to chew gum. I remember one of the Christmas um, carols we had, a, a friend of mine passed string gum to me and um, since it was evening, you know, I got it and I, it was so long, I had this sharp pain. You know, it was so intense that I couldn't sleep when I got back. You know, that night I couldn't sleep, but I remember that I have my toothpaste. What I did was to take a, a, a little amount of it and I applied it to that, uh, to that tooth that was giving me that pain. And that was it. The pain go, you know, it's, I don't know. It, I, for long, it was if that place was numb and I couldn't feel anything anymore, you know. And again, the, um, the mouth freshener. It, I didn't have a direct, I don't have a direct testimony about somebody that I gave it to whose daughter had asthma and she was complaining, she was frustrated, she didn't know what to do. And I gave it to her and it also helped the child. She came back to tell me that, ah, that the child is a lot better. I haven't um, applied, you know, minister, uh, administer the, um, the mouth freshener to the child. And the calcium. When I had my first child, I had issues with my, with my leg. I used to have pain. I think she, she, when I was pregnant with that, she must have found a way to that part of my body and I started having pain, you know. But when I started using calcium, that pain disappeared gradually. And I don't play with calcium. I remember I ran into one woman in the market and she was supposed to do pedicure for me. And I noticed that she was struggling getting up. And I was, sorry, ma'am, when was the last time you took calcium? She said when she had, uh, she, when she was pregnant and she was given in the hospital, I said, no, 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 you are not getting it. You have to look for calcium. As, as soon as possible, you know? And she was like, really? I said, please, as soon as possible. I didn't, I didn't want to quickly sell to her, but I just wanted her to experience, you know, um, what I'm trying to explain to her. And when she returned, when she saw me one of those days, I went back to the market, she ran to me. She was like, oh, madam, she was, she almost threw me on the floor. She said, I don't know what I did to her because her health improved. That goes to show that calcium is one thing that everyone needs. And the beauty of our own calcium is that it has on it iron and other, you know, um, 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 vitamins that you, a woman needs, zinc, which we also need for our front hair. You know, as we grow younger, we tend to lose our front hair and that has also helped, help, you know. And the other product is Menquin. 
Menquen is the other products. You know, people always ask me, what's the secret to your, you know, to your looks? And I said, it's nothing else other than Menquen. <laughs> It's Menquen. If you are looking at something that you know, you know that that will help. You know, as as we grow younger, you know, so to say, you know, we lose the elasticity of, of our skin. You know, it helps tone. That has also helped me to to you know to keep the the radiant look. You know, so that's just it. I think I've I've done. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. You actually the, the did just it through that. Thank you so much. You did six, not even, <laughs> not even five. And that, that, that's the one thing with uh, long wish products. Uh, you will find it difficult. You just be mentioning them, mentioning them. Thank you so much. Please, you tell us, in just in brief, what you are thankful for on this platform, what you are actually doing on this platform then your advice that those that may be struggling in the business and those that are still contemplating whether they want to join or not in a very short time. Thank you. Um, I think I mentioned um, some of those things before. I will say them again. I am so thankful for the fact that I've been able to meet new people. I love meeting people. You know, I mean, if you're in business, you want to meet as many people, you know, like we normally say money is in people, the more people you meet. And um, beyond that, I've also met, like I mentioned before, I, I've, I've come to have another family here, you know. <laughs> and um, um, I, want, I want to advise that we should take this business seriously. Make it your own business. You know, sometimes we think that we are we are we are actually working for our upline. No, you are working for ourselves. I remember when I had my when I was still running my laundry and dry cleaning outfits. I even when I have, you know, I I I, I have people working for me. I will provide them with materials to go marketing. I will still go out there because I understand that this is my business. Whether or not they work, you have to pay them salary. You know, the expenses, you know, that you need to, you know, uh, make at the end of the month. I wouldn't wait for them, you know, to do that. Always, I'm always out there, you know, on the field doing my own thing, making sure that I money comes in into the business. You know, I, I, and again, too, um, I, I, I would encourage us to, you know, go all out, be passionate about this business because, um, if you are not passionate about it, passionate about it, you will not see the little results, you know, and make it a daily thing. Make it a daily thing. And then um, you also would love to, you know, acquire some skills, go for trainings. You know, there's a whole lot when it comes to marketing. I, I, I don't know if time will permit me, if you are gonna be doing marketing effectively, there are a lot of things you have to consider. Um, um, just to add to what I was saying before, when you are going to market, and I mentioned something about a relationship marketing, I, you want to get what we call the uh, demographics, which is sometimes people miss it when they are going to market and you want to know who, what you are selling to who. And um, for you to also, you know, get it right on this business, you have to have your prospects, or customers psychographics, you know, um, I'm, we are talking about, um, you want to know what their dreams are, you want to know what their aspirations are, you want to know what, what they love, what problems you're having that you would love to solve. Because this business is all about meeting needs, it's all about solving problems. So you have to identify their psychographics so that you'll be able to see how you can align you know, with that, I'm talking about, you want to know their goals. What are they looking at achieving? Is it someone that is looking at, you know, maybe losing weight, talking about goals, you know? What products can I do? What can, product can I give to this person to be able to achieve this goal? You know, is it somebody that is, um, that needs motivation? Okay, somewhere I've lost hope, and you could tell the person that, oh, I have something that can help you get better with life. You know, those are the things. So when you are going out there to do your marketing, when you are going out there prospecting, please 
always make sure that you get your demographics right and also get to know your customers psychographics because it will also help you to be effective in this business you know that's 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 what i would love to add because the truth is this business we are in for something good and so we have to do it right thank you thank you so much it's been an amazing session you can only always go to youtube to rewatch this and you will get more value more value thank you so much ma'am uh, before we let you go uh, I want like two of the leaders, and particularly, I don't know if you can have them from the diaspora, to actually appreciate our guests this evening. Okay, go ahead. All right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, CIG Nation. Uh, morning. I must say, uh, we with with so much <laughs> with so much. Uh, Gratitude. I must say thank you very much on behalf of um, the entire CIG team to uh, Madam Asiak. She has always been one of those persons I look up to, you know, uh, since I joined the business. And um, tonight she has proven, as usual, to be an arsenal of knowledge. It is not easy for you to, you know, come up stage and, you know, you, 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 may, you start talking, people start craving for more. You know, it is, that's the height of it. Even if our leader can actually, you know, spot the fact that I said, no, we have to give you some more time. That shows that, you know, you are a leader by excellence. Thank you very much for gracing us with your knowledge today. Thank you so much, Mr. Gozian. All right, thank you. Just one more person. Good morning, partners. Good morning. I want to really appreciate my sister and my friend. Honestly, you never know what you have inside you until you're called up like this to come out and share your knowledge. And this evening, I am seeing my sister on another level, honestly, and <laughs> it's a big wow. Is a big wow, and that that class we have to host that class immediately because what she has given to us this evening is what a lot of people have paid over a million naira to to get. I want to really appreciate her, and I pray that we are going to have more of her in the team at large. Thank you very much, uh, Mrs. Blessing Asia. God bless you. Thank you, my love. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much, Bozasi uh, Akan. Uh, it's been a pleasure and for imparting knowledge on us. Those nuggets actually sunk well. Boss Gloria. Thank you for having me, Mr. Seto. Thank you for sharing um, Boss Blessing Asiak. Thank you for that nugget. And I really wanted to say something about i like the analogy that you used about you uh you said it was your just um the type of um the type of you said the type of transportation you take de determines how fast you get to a destination i really i really like that analogy. i mean you know that analogy because you were trying to say well language is a vehicle that you've chosen to get you to your destination of retirement. So that is another thing I said I was gonna you know, talk about. I really like that very much. And I'm looking forward to, you know, to your class session. I'm gonna be all ready with my book and pen so that I can gain from your wealth of knowledge. We thank you very much. We are, we are going to have a part two, possibly in two weeks time. Blessing us here coming back. This time, not interview, but a presentation. She's going to deliver a lecture. She's loaded. I know she's loaded because I know how much she invests in acquiring knowledge, most especially on entrepreneurship and uh, all that. You know, she spent so much time, energy, resources for knowledge acquisition. And that is why she is very resourceful to us. 
There is no meeting she misses. She likes attending seminars. She likes learning from different presenters and all the rest. So she's just a bank of knowledge. She, she didn't have enough time to deliver for the little nuggets she was dropping here and there. You could see that um, it's one thing to be quiet, it's another thing to be dangerously quiet. You know, she, she's a powerhouse. She is the early founders of CIG, like as I used to say. And um, she has top leaders in her team that are doing well in CIG. I respect her for that and the entire free team freedom. So talking about the topic, which says it is worth it. You know, what exactly is what it? Is it money? Is it time? Is it knowledge? Is it, you know, is, all, is it long reach? It's all about entrepreneurship. Simply put, entrepreneurship. You see, we cannot live on salary. Salary has and can never make anybody to be financially free. Because people who work for salary, they have maximum time they can work. Not only that, they have maximum years they can put in you know, services to people. And at the end of the day, they will still fall back to entrepreneurship. So what we are trying to do is, it is what it is, it is what the while to try as much as possible to carry it along, make it your plan B or plan C, irrespective of what you do, because it can actually make you to become a different person. Why am I saying this? What we do here every Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday, online, offline, doing trainings, the presenters, we go and do some little research, come back to ensure they deliver something of value to the team, to the entire populace that will be participating in the Zoom meetings. I can assure you it is called entrepreneurship education. And what it does, it helps us to impart skills such as opportunity recognition when entrepreneurship education is being presented before you it is actually meant for opportunity recognition problem identification and solving also critical thinking you cannot go to a seminar and come back and remain the same without having one or two things to have learned from from it and also how it can actually critique your own ideology. Innovation comes in here. This entrepreneurship education provides its learners with the skills to adapt to these changes and improve their employability and life chances. Whether you are a salary earner employee or an employer or a businessman or whatever you call yourself, Always believe and take note that you form part of the entrepreneurial team. And because you form part of the entrepreneurial team, you are definitely going to do everything to put in your best so that your employer will achieve his goals, will actualize his dreams. So I want to encourage each and every one of us standing there. If we get to your turn for every partner of CIG to get to your turn to come up here and actually tell us one or two things you know about the industry. You know, this industry is one of the industries that I see that really, really take entrepreneurship so serious and do a whole lot to impact not just knowledge, but skills that are practicable and brings results. So in all fairness to the industry, though globally abused, I will say thank you to Longreach for making some of us to really take up the challenge to do what we do. Again, I want to say thank you to our presenter for today, Mrs. Blessing Asiak.
for doing a little justice. You have not done all. People have not yet heard you speak. But I know you we will have your time. We will come, come you will come in, in two weeks' time to actually give us a lecture this time around. And I will be so glad that you honor that invitation. Again, talking about value, I keep saying that if 99% of the CIGT members know what I know, they will they will move further and faster than myself in this platform. Why you see me holding on to this platform? It's not just because we are making money, but the products. You see, a product that adds a title to your name because you are partnering with it. We are co-owners of the company. Yes, we are co-owners because if they can take some shares every month from the monthly sales and share for us, what are we? Does ShopRite do that? All these big retail malls we go to, supermarket to buy things, do they allow us to share in their sales? Uh, not their, their profit, not the talk of sales, you know, monthly sales and all that. So being a part owner, we have a whole lot to offer people. When you talk about the energy stuff and all that, these are products with magnetic energy. People don't know what that cup stands for. You know, that spy cup you see is magical. The panty liner you see is magical. But in all fairness, it is only helping us to appreciate God more because these things are made from nature. There is just so much in nature created by God that we try as much as possible to see how we could use them to solve problems. That is why God frowns when we complain. Because we have not utilized the things he has given us. He has, we have not. We have not even scratched the surface. And little wonder, they say, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Dear friends, dear partners, dear leaders, seek knowledge. Seek knowledge is important. When you have knowledge, you become an authority. And when you are an authority, this is what happens. Both the mighty, the low, the rich, the poor, they respect you. They come to you. You become a sage. You become a man of wisdom because you have something to always offer. People don't come to you when you have nothing to offer. When you have value to offer, it will attract people. Nobody will go to you when you don't have value to give out. And poor or rich, seeking knowledge does not need any formal procedure. That is what we do every month, every week, every day. We reel out this knowledge from different experts, free, free, free of charge. And we expect you to have your notebook, the wise ones we have a notebook, every Sunday, they are filling this notebook with knowledge of different experts and different testimonies. And by the end of the year, if you look at your notebook, you will tell yourself, all this I know. When you go for presentation, you will become a different person. People want to follow you because of what you know, not because of how much you have. And that is why in CIG, a whole lot of leaders you see today, they started with no penny, they started with no cents, no dollar. But today, because they could acquire knowledge first and begin to reel out knowledge, in part, give it as value, they were able to attract success to themselves. So I want to thank all of us that have participated today in this meeting. We are not going to relent, we are not going to stop. We'll keep expanding, we'll keep sharing knowledge for free. And whatever you do with the knowledge is entirely up to you. Because when you apply this knowledge, then automatically it will bring power. We will go to the next segment for now, because we need to still know how people can become partners of this great platform.
It's a platform I respect so much. It's a platform that has done so much to people's life. It's a platform that is lifting communities, communities and nations. This platform is one of those few platforms that you can trust, that you can rely on, that you can truly, truly give it your all and say, look, I will make it with it. With our support and God's support, we will definitely help you to achieve your own goals. Thank you very much, my Angus. It is a pleasure having you all the time. I pray that we will still keep having you, even though you become star directors by the grace of God. Let's move to the Amen. next. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Welcome to Ayodhya Udupa as we take on the worst plan. Please do it for us in, in a brief of 10 minutes. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Can I, I share for that, you? That, yes, go ahead, please. Uh, I can see time is fast spent, but while you're trying to share, um, I think uh, he, uh, I would um, first start by saying good morning, everyone, and a happy new month to all the CIG nation. Now, um, to kick it off, I'm going to um, give some accolades to Mrs. Blessing because um, I call her uh, as an assistant, my, my sweetheart. Now, uh, I always say this, that um, Longreach is, um, is a, uh, especially the CIG family in Longreach, is a family filled with um, uh, uh, people with um, beauty, brains, you know, intellectual. And I, for a person, I am a sapiosexual. I'm attracted to intelligent people, people I can learn from and all that. And um, she's one person who uh, I, I also look up to, I respect a lot. I respect her wealth of knowledge and I, uh, you know, I'm not surprised about what she's done tonight because she's someone I, I look closely up to and I, every time you get to have an engagement with her, you will be amazed at, uh, you know, a lot that you will learn. I just want to say uh, kudos to her and I say thank you to um, 3SD and the leadership of CIG for bringing her, uh, for us to learn from her. Now, to dive right into it, um, I can't see uh, the screen yet. Let me, see, let me, let me change my view. Okay, beautiful. So, right. Now, the major reason we are here tonight is to understand the business plan of Longreach. Now, we've heard the best part. We've heard the journey of some of the leaders. Now, she, the person who spoke earlier, which is Mrs. Blessing, she's an investor in Longreach. Now, you can join Longreach as a, a preferred customer. You can join Longreach as um, a, a registered partner. You can join Longreach as an investor. But I always, well, those, the two main type of people that really earn in Longreach are the partners and the investors. And there are 10 ways to earn in Longreach. Number one, the retail profit, all right? Now, guess what? You know, just like every other product there, every single product out there that you've been buying from childhood till date, since they're giving birth to you, the truth is they, you know, and retails is, you, they engage in retails. But the truth is um, people who sell, who are retailers, they make profits. Just like Longreach products, you could join if you're a fantastic business person, you could sell for retail. So this is the, what we call the retail profit. Now, the second way is that um, you can actually earn fast start bonus. Now for the registered members, there are packages you can come in with that would make you earn either in 24 hours or you earn in a week, all right? Which we call the starter combo, which is called the no excuse package. It's also called the student pack. All right, so you can come in with a starter combo and you're going to end next week. Now we also have the um, the fast reach pack, which is also a fast start bonus that once you plug into it, there are um, some set of pre-selected pre products. When you pick them, you're going to be earning 24 hours after confirmation of the product. So if it takes two days for them to confirm because of network issues, you're going to be earning what? In, in 24 hours after confirmation. Now the third earning is performance bonus. Now, the performance bonus is a bonus that is weekly based. Now, this is a bonus that is a mainstream bonus attached to people who come in with a minimum of 60 PV. Now, don't worry, you would understand the word PV. PV is, the, is one of the most important word, the one of the word that is used the most by every language member. It's actually a universal currency, and this is what you earn in mainstream and development bonus. Now, development bonus is the fourth way you earn. These are weekly earnings. Now, leadership bonus, too, is also a weekly earning. All right, but the beauty about it is that the business is, is structured in such a way that as you grow and you become a leader, there are ways you can also earn. And this, these are weekly earnings. Now, we have the repeat order bonus. Now, this is a bonus that is attached to, it's monthly, 
but um, the what 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 it requires of you is not mandatory. If you want to earn some more, because Longreach sees you as an ambassador, and they know that they are, they, are, they want to encourage you to continue to use health products, health organic products. They don't want you to go back to those um, you know, those products that are synthetic that don't really add value to you or you know repair your health. They want to encourage you to be an ambassador. They know your soap will finish. They know your toothpaste will finish. So they encourage you to do a 30 PV, which is not mandatory. I say again, all right, we don't have anything that is mandatory in long range. Your first buy may be your only buy ever and you build a team, you end for life. Now we have the travel bonus, the car bonus and the house bonus. Now these are incentives that come as you also grow when you're in the business. So when you get to diamond four, you know, you start um, accumulating your, your bonuses. When you get to Diamond 6, you also accumulate car bonus. When you get to Diamond 7, you start getting your house bonus. And this is the way the business goes. Now, this is the entry level in Longridge. Now, remember I mentioned PV. PV means product value, purchase value, or point value. Now, this PV is a universal currency. For every product you've been buying in a supermarket all your life, you don't get points for each product. Like now, imagine... A situation whereby you buy products, all right, and you're being given point for everything you buy, or you've been given product for every toothpaste you bought all your life. Some of us would would have built a house today, or would be a millionaire. But now Longreach has changed the narrative. They give you points for each product. Now the beautiful part is this: Longreach manufactures over two thousand products. Now in Africa, we have close to about um, um, sixty or eighty products out there. Now the beautiful thing is, for each product you pick for use, Longreach records the points if you come in as a what as a registered member now the registered member is the same thing as you going to the supermarket or going to the malam shop or going to um, a roadside person to go and buy your soap but you don't get point for it Mount long reach records each point they give you a code a code is attributed to you when somebody signs through you they use that code to sign up that person even if the person travels away that code is yours for life and this is how the business is so the pv for each product is recorded for each entry level now we, that is the starter combo i talked about earlier which is fourteen thousand. that is the minimum that you can actually use to join the company is the least now you're joining a multi-billion dollar company Fourteen thousand is not too small now you're leveraging with the company. Now we have the Q silver, we have the silver, we have the gold, we have the platinum and the VIP. Now VIP is the highest level you can be in the company. It doesn't matter how wealthy you are. That is the highest level you can be. The only difference is the number of people that you have grown and worked with with time. Some people have over a million people under them. But remember, you're just working with three persons at first. Now, some people's three persons have grown to one million persons. So you need a minimum of 1,680 PV for you to become a VIP. Guess what? you spend around 1.2 million. Now, don't fret. You can start with 60 PV, which is the Q silver, that is also the main tree, whatever, and grow when you buy under your code, you know, uh, instrumentally. You you grow in, in you know, the, your points accrue and you grow. Now, only VIP earns 12% plus 1% global bonus. Now, it's actually 22%. Then for platinum, it's 22%. Gold is 20, uh, uh, for weekly earnings. Gold is also 20%. Silver is 18%. Q silver is 18%. Now, but the 8% you're seeing are the, the performance bonuses, while the 10% on each that makes it 22, 20, 20 uh, 18, and all that is the development bonus so these are what you guarantee are guaranteed to end every week and this is um how you actually join the business so for kill silver is forty five thousand. you used to join around is actually below or slightly down so if you do anything between 60 but less than 119 pv you are a kill silver member if you do anything between 120 pv but less than 239 pv you are a gold member if you do anything between 240 but less than 719 pv you are a platinum but the moment it crosses by one pv to 720 pv you will become a platinum member so the moment you do anything between 720 pv to 1680 p one um six uh one under around uh, 1590 PV, you're still a platinum. But the moment it crossed by one PV, you will become a VIP and you'll be able to earn 1% global shares. Now, let me quickly emphasize on the 1% global shares. 1% global shares means that if Longreach makes a total sale of, let's say, $300 million this month globally, remember Longreach has presence in close to 200 countries, all right? Now you can sign up anybody in South Africa, in Ghana, anybody online you can meet anybody i have team members um, from south africa and other parts of the country now if you if they buy anything the toothpaste they use in their house if they buy the soap longridge makes all these things daily consumables guess what longridge will record the points for you even though they are not in nigeria 
even though somebody you introduced, I introduced somebody, I introduced somebody, brought them, all those points will add up together. And long which will remove 1% of that $200 million. If you're a VIP, they share it with you. Now, the, the reason why we encourage building in language, if you have close to a million people under you, you know that what you'll be earning on an average, if everybody goes to work, will be nothing less than 50, 100 million era or more. And that is why we build in long reach. So some people started today, they have over uh, uh, 70,000 people under them. Some people started today, they have over 100,000. That's the way it works. Just starting from three persons and you will be amazed at the magic of MLM three by three. Now, maximum of three legs is what you have. Like I said before, you can't have more than three persons directly under you. Now, if you have more than three persons, they will be directly under those three. So long reach pays those people who you brought in or they brought in, they will be paying them according to who is under who. All right. So, but the beautiful part is you can end better than the person who brought you in Longridge. That's another amazing thing about Longridge. There is no time frame. You can it can take you. It can take you because there's something we call ranking in Longridge. It's different from your entry level. Now you can become a star director, which would actually um, almost guarantee your seven figures, eight figures, nine nine figures earning. There is no time frame. You can take you five years. It can take you two years. We've had somebody who who has done it within um, a year to become a star director. All right. You can you grow at your own pace. So no time frame. You go at your no pressure for you to say, oh, you must buy this TV. We don't do that in Longridge. There is no mandatory buy in Longridge. No mandatory purchase. Weekly earning bonus, like I said before, I've explained that before. No mandatory purchase. There's nothing like auto ship in Longridge. So this is Nigeria's entry level. So let's see another um, country. So you notice that the PVs are what we have in, in common. Now, this is the structure of Longridge. You can see I introduced the first three persons. The next three persons introduce the next, there are three persons and there are three persons. Now, the beautiful part is if those three persons you introduce, maybe they are working and they've not yet understood the business, you can bring in people for them and it will count for them and they'll start earning. And that's the beautiful thing about the business. So you can see, like I said, I can analyze 120 to 239 and all that, that is for America, all right? It's still the same, no time frame. It's still the same protocol. The same percentage is being earned. The only thing that is common is the PV. So the PV is how you determine the universal currency that Longridge uses. So that is, you see that it's the same, it's the same PV for each country. That is for Liberia. This is for Malawi, all right? And um, it's still the same percentage, all right? Uh, that is for Cameroon. Uh, and the next one is for Gambia, all right? The next one is for South Africa. All right. So we, we have them all around the world. So you can have team members all around the world. And this is what the business is about. I hope I've been able to make sense. If you actually a new person on the call and you got value from everything that we said today, just type in the chat box. I got value. Thank you very much. My name remains Odupe Oluka Ayode. Uh, have a beautiful uh, week ahead. Thank you. Thank you so much, PK, as we call you. You are the best. All right. Thank you, everybody.